Welcome to Self Study India YouTube channel. This is the new geography NCERT series which is started in our channel. Along with this, there are separate NCERT series going on like Science NCERT, History NCERT, and other subjects too. The main purpose of this new geography NCERT is to cover all the important aspects for PT come mains. And this is the first part of geography. We'll start with the sixth class NCERT book. The first chapter, the Earth in the Solar System. The main content in this chapter deals about the celestial bodies like stars, planets, asteroids and meteorites and the solar system. During night time we can see the celestial bodies and during day time because of the presence of the sun we can't see these, uh, the other bodies. Let's dig into the chapter. Why do stars twinkle? The twinkling effect is because of the distance of light traveling from that star to us. Because it travels into different mediums, it bends. That is the reason for the twinkling effect of the star. Now, uh, it deals about the full moon and the new moon. Let's take a help of a representation. This is a diagram for the full moon or Purnima. In Purnima, the earth is in the middle between sun and the moon, while in the new moon, moon will be in the middle between sun and earth. In the full moon, it, full moon, the sun's rays fall on the moon and it reflects back to the earth. That is this night area. We can see the full moon uh, or Purnima during this time. And uh, during the new moon, as moon is not in the presence of the earth at, during night time, we can't see the moon and that is called Amavasya. And it deals about the celestial bodies. All the stars are gaseous giants and sun is a, as a star. The second page, uh, before going to the second page, let's discuss about a small two topics that is rotation and revolution. Rotation is where the object turns around its own internal axis and the revolution is when the object turns on its external axis. Because of the rotation, we have day and night and because of the revolution we have seasons. This uh, topic will be very important in the third chapter. Uh, I'll, I'm just telling you before itself. And it deals about the celestial bodies. Oh, sorry, it deals about the constellations. Here constellations are a group of stars in a particular shape or image that we can figure out in different images like uh, example uh, Saptarushi or Big Bear. And the North Star and the Pole Star or the Pole Star is the nearest star after the sun to earth because of this presence we can uh, we, it is predominant in the during night time and it is very important in all the predominant mythologies also in greek word planet means wanderer so as the planets revolve around the sun or the star it is like wandering on the star we can see uh, ne next we can see about this uranus Jupiter and Saturn have their rings. This is because of their high amount of gravity. It pulls all the celestial bodies around it and it forms as a rings. Next topic is solar system. The solar system consists of sun, our planets and their satellites and other objects like asteroids, meteoroids, etc. And etc. This diagram, in this diagram, the important topic is asteroid belt. This asteroid belt is in between Mars and Jupiter. Let's remember this and nothing much important in, in this in this picture. And from Jupiter to Neptune, all the Jupiter, Saturn and Uranus and Neptune are gaseous giants because they don't have any land or rocky surface on their planet and they are called as Jovian planets. Now it deals about the sun, planets and the earth. Sun is the center of the, our solar system and it has it is a gaseous hot giant and it is the ultimate source of heat and light for us. And remember this, sun is about 150 kilometers away from the earth. And the, uh, here, uh, soul in the Roman mythology, all the words, the, these are the hinting words. Soul means solar, I mean sun. Whereas here, geo means earth. Coming to the planets, we have eight planets, that is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. And they revolve around the sun in an elongated manner, that is, in a form of orbit. Now Earth. Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun and the fifth largest planet. It is slightly flatted at the poles and bulged at the equator. This is because of the centrifugal force of the Earth as it revolves around the Sun and the centripetal force which is pulling the Earth away from the Sun. And Earth has very important feature like uh, it, suppose, it supports the life because of the presence of air and water. Air uh, Gives, air, air means um, oxygen is helpful for the, for the burning of the food we eat 
and water is to transport the food and energy we eat because of these two main important ingredients in earth the life is very predominant than other planets coming to the earth's own satellite we have only one satellite that is moon some of the uh, here it is imp interesting topic like as we discuss about the revolution and rotation moon's rotation and revolution are pretty much the same that is 27 days because of this equality of rotation and revolution of the moon we can't see the uh, other end of the moon that is the far side of the moon uh, important topic important uh, current affair based bit is jade rabbit number 2 rover change 4 mission first landing first soft landing on the far side of the moon this is done by the china for the first time on 3rd january 2019 and artificial satellites are those which are the satellites by, made by the human which revolves around the earth like insat irns edusat etc and etc coming to the asteroids and meteorites as we also you know previously discussed that asteroids are the bodies celestial bodies which revolves between mars and jupiter around the sun and meteorites are the small rocky pieces of rock which revolves around the sun in the solar system it is it discuss about the milky way galaxy and or akaksha ganga billions and billions of stars forms a galaxy and billions of billions of galaxies forms our universe uh, this is pretty much the first chapter and we'll go to the next chapter second chapter globe latitudes and longitudes here in this chapter we'll discuss about globe equator Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Latitudes, Longitudes, Poles, Zones, such as Storoid Zone, Temperate Zone, Frigid Zone, Day and Night, and the Standard Time. Coming to the chapter itself, uh, as we also know that uh, Earth is flatted at the poles and slightly bulged at the equator. The main purpose of the latitude and longitude is to determine the location of the particular area. And coming to the axis, axis is an imaginary line about which a body rotates where axis passes through north pole and south pole of the earth if we draw an imaginary line from the north pole to south pole of the earth which passes to the center of the earth it makes an angle that is 23 and a half degrees to the orbital plane what is this orbital plane orbital plane is an plane which is making 90 degrees that is perpendicular to the earth's plane of orbit and this earth's plane of orbit is the is a plane which is uh, passes through the sun's plane sun's plane of orbit so because of this 23 and of degrees it makes a lot of changes for the earth's seasons let's find it out if the uh, be because of this when the sun ray passes through the on the earth it can't go beyond the this plane orbital plane this is also called a circle of illumination and because of this oh uh, if you see if you can observe this is the north pole in this north pole area the sun rays cannot be pass passed through this area and it is in the darker side of the earth so because of this six months in the north pole will be summer and six months in the north pole will be winter the similar thing happens in the, in the south pole too coming to the equator equator is an imaginary line that is perpendicular to the axis which means equator we can say this is equator that is 90 degrees to the axis and here that is tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn sorry capricorn these are the three imaginary lines we can draw equator tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn and this equator divides the earth into two parts that is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere these uh, uh, the the lines drawn parallel to the equator that is latitudes the, the line which is uh, 90 degrees to the equator is north pole on the northern hemisphere and 90 degrees to the southern hemisphere is the south pole now, this can be illustrated in an example like uh, chandrapur in maharashtra and uh, bella horizon in brazil both are in the similar latitudes coming to the importance of the latitude latitude defines a lot in form of vegetation climate temperature ecology and living patterns of the human habitat oh this area the area which i have been drawing in in this area above this the sun cannot be beyond the horizon that is the sun cannot go beyond our overhead coming to the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn 
Tropic of Cancer is 23 and a half degrees north latitude and the Tropic of Cancer refers to as the northernmost point where sun can be directly on our overhead. Uh, it is the sun's maximum point of extent in the northern hemisphere and also Tropic of Cancer is the area where the Cancer constellation will be at the horizon during the night time. Similarly, and what is uh, Tropic of Cap Capricorn? It is the 23 and a half degrees south latitude and Tropic of Capricorn refers to as now, southernmost point where the sun can be directly on our overhead and it is the maximum point of extent where sun can reach in the southern hemisphere. And uh, during the night time, Capricorn constellation will be over the horizon in that area. Coming to the next page, uh, before going to the heat zones of the earth, let us discuss about this diagram. Here, uh, the light in the, first, uh, in the first picture, the light from the torch directly falls on the cardboard where it is brighter and the area is smaller. In the second picture, because of the inclination and slantness, the light is less brighter but the area is, illumination is bigger. This happens to the earth too, from the sun. Coming to the heat zones of the earth, there are three heat zones that is torrid zone, temperate zone and frigid zone. Torrid zone is the maximum heat that absorbs by the earth from the sun. It extends from the Tropic of Cancer to Tropic of Capricorn and uh, temperate zone is the area where uh, it is about 23 and a half degrees north latitude to 23 and a half degrees, uh, sorry, 63 and a half degrees north. Similarly, it is between 23 and a half degrees south to 63 and a half degrees south latitudes. Frigid, frigid zone is the colder zone among all these all these zone and it extends from the 63 and a half degrees south to south pole and in the north hemisphere 63 and a half degrees north to north pole. Coming to the longitude, we have latitudes and each latitude is parallel to itself one another and uh, but the longitudes are not parallel one they started from one point that is north pole to ending in the south pole. All the latitudes gives the intensity of the sun's light but the longitudes gives the duration of the sunlight and the latitudes helps us to determine the north and the south but the longitudes helps us to determine the east and the west. Come to the next page. The latitude, the zero degrees latitude uh, that, that is called as prime meridian started from the Greenwich that is through British Royal Observatory Centre and the very opposite to the prime meridian that is uh, passes through the Bering Strait. Why? What is the reason for choosing this Greenwich area as the zero degrees longitude? The first reason directly we can say that because of the British hegemony during those time and the second reason is the opposite one that is 180 degrees longitude passes through the no man's land that is Bering Strait as uh, that is not populated area so uh, the time zone that day can be divided into 24 hours that is the right side of the Bering Strait will be previous day and the right side will uh, left side of the Bering Strait will be the next next day. These are the 24 time zones of the globe they are divided into 24 and each uh, time, zo time zone having 15 degrees longitudes. France has uh, 12 time zones Russia has 11, USA has 11, Australia has 9. This is important fact that uh, from the 0 degrees Greenwich longitude, if you go to the right, time will increase and if you go to the left, time will be reduced. And sun is the best timekeeper for the throughout the world. Coming to the time zone of India, we choose 82 and of degrees east as the standard Indian standard time zone uh, longitude and we have a single time zone in India. We don't have any uh, two or three. We have a single one. And the difference between the 97 degrees east to 68 degrees east is about 1 hour 45 minutes. We also discuss Russia has uh, maximum time zones and each time zone is divided uh, covered with 15 degrees longitude. Uh, this is pretty much of this and this is the end of the second chapter. Do subscribe, share, comment and press the bell icon down below this video. Please do join on our telegram channel for more MCQs which is dedicated for all the major competitive examinations. Do spread the word for this initiation because if, if you like this video, this will help a lot of people who are in need. And 
highlighted PDF will be posted in our Telegram channel and posted in the description down below. Thank you very much, guys.